Welcome back everyone to our League of Legends Top 5 Plays Week Number 154. My name is Parvin, I'll be taking you through some of the best plays submitted to us this week by the League community, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Starting this episode off at our number 5 play, we have I carry on Zed in a high elo game. At the start we see him hiding in the brush, waiting to assassinate someone on the enemy team. When Ezreal Arcane shifts over the wall, he moves in with his ultimate, dealing tons of damage and tearing through barrier and grabbing the kill shortly after. He takes some damage and then gets out, turning to lifesteal but LeBlanc moves in but he quickly flashes the damage and turns the killer with a shuriken for the surprising 1v2 double kill. Dashing his way into our number 4 spot, we have Irak in on Yasuo. We see him at Baron dodging skill shots as he moves in. He goes through Triss and then to Thresh, flying around this teamfight and dealing massive damage as he picks up the huge armor pen buff from his ultimate and continues maneuvering around this fight. He finishes off Lux and then goes for Triss as he utilizes the amazing mobility and combos he has as well as his tornado's knockup to pick up kill after kill while zigzagging through the enemy team, resulting in a pentakill and ace in a close fight at Baron. Coming in at our number 3 play, we have fire related pun on Ziggs devastating a team from the side. We see the friendly blue team losing this fight bad as Ziggs tosses his Q and ult, bringing 4 members of the enemy team lower as he hits Jinx again from the side before backing off to loop around. He comes back in with a QE, dropping their health more and then again looping back around for another attack from the side. Fire related pun throws out another bouncing bomb and brings Jinx to one shot as he starts running back to base when the friendly Kazix gets jumped on by Vi. He runs for his life, escaping the enemy team, but now we see they have two angles of attack, so Kazix moves back in. Nidalee jumps on Ziggs, but he gets everything down and flashes away, setting up Kazix to jump in and grab a kill, granting the reset so he can jump again and get to Jinx. He then somehow gets a kill on Olaf and flashes away into a leap over the wall as they run away through their jungle. As the intensity subsides, we see the friendly Nasus catch Jinx with the Wither, leading to another kill. Through amazing synergy between both players as well as the poke leading up to the big 2v5 at the end, they managed to pick up 4 kills in this play. Scoring her way into our second place spot is Rakan on Riven. At the beginning we see it's a close game and keep in mind Riven isn't fed. As she approaches the fight we see red team all over the place and slowly losing as she sets her sights on Lux using the extra AD from her ultimate to grab the kill despite the binding. She then goes after Vars for the double and then immediately uses Valor to get behind and dodge a Mumu's bandage toss. She W's to kill Yi and then finishes a Mumu off right after as it comes down to a 1v1 but out of nowhere Hecarim ults but she dodges it with a quick Q behind him eventually allowing her to pick up the kill. Great timing, target choice and mechanics allow this unfed Riven to come into a losing teamfight and turn things around for her team taking the pentakill and ace. And for our number 1 pro play for this week, we have Z lost on Trinomir with an incredible play made possible by a full team's effort. At the start, we notice a couple of things. One being that the enemy team has Baron and are pushing now mid to win the game. The second thing to note is that blue team is behind roughly 9,000 gold, so for them, this fight is a shot in the dark, but Trinomir has an idea. By harnessing his inner Trick 2G disrespect, he decides to go in and dance in front of the enemy team and see what happens. He eats up the Nidalee Spear and they decide to go all in, but they underestimate his ultimate and dump so many big cooldowns into him, allowing his team to actually fight this. Jax goes in with a brilliant stun on the carries and Lux lands a huge laser, and now all of a sudden this team that's almost 10,000 gold ahead with Baron buff get destroyed in a team fight. By using the disrespect, he somehow manages to bait out Rengar and Varasult as well as tons of other abilities, turning this game into a miracle win for blue team. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have an awesome play by It's Venom who refuses to die on Thresh. As the rest of this plays on, I wanted to remind you that if you like the plays you saw today, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you want to see more. We don't post our videos to Reddit, so feel free to post it anywhere including there. The more you guys share it, the cooler it is for your fellow summoners who submitted awesome plays like that Trinomir one and deserve as much recognition as possible. Thanks again everyone for watching, and I'll see you back here soon for the next episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.